It's always tough. Um, you know, you, you still got to put in the same amount of work. It's just a day less. So you're here longer. You're you're studying more. Um, it's always tough. Are you worried you're going to be talking less on Wednesday in preparation, or do you still have to catch up on that? Yeah, we're, uh, we had good meetings today. You know, you got to start just everything a day early uh, so you don't get the Tuesday day off. Um, but I think the most important thing is getting your body back right. So, you know, we got veteran guys that know how to – handle their routine on weeks like this. Uh, you said you're out on the 15th and you got back to the season. But are you aware that there was some concerns with the playoff spot if you were on Saturday? I was not. Um, you know, the goal is always the, the division title. So obviously making the playoffs is, is great and, and we can clinch on Saturday, but uh, that's that's not really the goal. You say that the goal is more about the division than potentially getting you guys to the Central field and get back to the playoffs as well. We could. You know, we, we would need some help for that, but uh, our goal is to to go one and zero this week, and then I think the rest will take care of itself from there. Do you react in the same way you did after the win in Tampa in Arizona? Yeah, there's there's no championships on the line this week. What stands out about the guys you got to see watching on Saturday? Well coached. You know, they're they're you know, a lot of times you watch film and you think you can take advantage of this guy or this guy. They don't really have any of those. Uh, they're all are good, good, good players that understand their scheme, understand their leverages, and they got good rushers and a good rush plan. Uh, so it'll be a challenge for us. Well, what did you guys have been so great for you? I mean, your mindset is kind of just you know get runs you went, you were passing you went at that point in the game. Have you guys been really good at filling out a lot of games? Yeah, we've first we got great coaches that make great adjustments in game to to allow us to go out there and move the ball, and uh, we've been playing team football. Uh, complimentary football that our defense is playing great and, and our offense is, has taken advantage of opportunities that ha our defense has given us. And then, you know, our special teams is coming on and playing really well as well. Nothing serious. Just a little bruise. <laughs> no, not yet. Not yet. You'll see. Have you gotten it though? Uh, yeah, we've got it. So how was your first Uh, he's going to, you know, you, you could tell he was going to bring a lot of energy. And that's something that we didn't really have on the O-line before that. And so, you know, it's been uh, it's been great to have him because when you have a guy like that on the front, not just in game, but, in, you know, in the locker room, we're, we always, you know, I'm always talking about how great our locker room is and how important that is to winning. And, you know, Ted is the ultimate locker room guy. And that's – that's what you need out of your center. How would you describe his personality? He's very like, but he seems to be like one way on the field and then maybe different in the locker room. Another way. No, he's the same way always. And that's what you love about him. You know, he's going to bring the intensity on the field and off of it. Meetings, out of meetings, in the locker room. Uh, he's just a, a guy that you love to have on your team. How much has he told you, taught you about the culture they had in Tampa, and how much has it carried over here? Um. We've talked about it. I wouldn't say it's carried over at all. Um, you know, we have our own culture here in, in the locker room and, and what Zach has, has built. And I think we're very unique in that way that, you know, we've we've built our own culture here that we're that we're proud of and uh, has, has been winning us a lot of football games. And then the same thing for Dave Campbell and Zach Wilson in the last couple of years. I mean, what's it like just what you did in the few games of season left to win the NFC Championship? Yeah, none of those are – you know, the, it doesn't affect how you play. It doesn't affect how you practice. It doesn't affect how you go about your routine. You know, everyone's got cuts and bruises and, you know, something swollen every week. You know, that's just part of the game. And uh, you can't let it distract you from the fact that you got to get your job done. Yeah. Uh, Brian Kelly, it's like going against Bill Belichick, kind of like a cat and mouse game, you know, coaching against him. Uh, having Coach O'Connor on the other side, what's the challenge of going against a play caller like that with how good he is? Yeah, we know that they're going to have a good plan for us, and we're going to have to make adjustments in game to, to what we're seeing because we know that I know they're going to have some game plan stuff for us that we haven't seen before. Um, so it's going to be a, a challenge for us uh, as an offense to 
to take those adjustments and run with them on the fly because we know that uh, they're they're going to have some stuff we haven't seen. When you first come back, I mean, what do you see that kind of tune up a little bit or screw it off? You know, you really don't treat it any any differently than than you would if you were up mindset wise. Obviously, you're going to play the game a little differently, but. Um, I think the the key to a great comeback is just going one step at a time, and you know you saw it on on Sunday that that two minute drive cut us, cut it just two scores, and we knew going into that we had to get points, and that was kind of the start of it. And so you just take it one step at a time, and eventually you you catch back up. Is that, from, is that from the bench or the third quarter that you know you figured that out in like high school or college? Oh uh, well, fortunately, high school and college I was you know we were had really good teams, we weren't behind a lot. In the NFL, it's different. You're going to get behind because everyone's so good. And, you know, really last year was the year that, you know, I felt like we were always in it. You know, you could – we're always going to make plays on defense, get stops, and, you know, eventually our offense would get rolling and we would score points to, to get back in it. And, you know, really the last two years we've we've been behind and we've come back in just about every game, whether we've won or lost at the end, uh, has, you know, kind of varied. But – We've always got back into it. Kevin McCord has been on the defense you know, over a decade now. What stands out to you from study film of him and how he manages their secondary and how he should be? Yeah, he really good in dis- in disguising coverages. You know, you expect that from a from a guy that's played so long, and you know he he really hasn't lost much of a step. You know, I think this is year twelve, thirteen, something like that, and you know it's just impressive when you see guys like that that. You know, I've played for so long and they're still playing at a high level. Um, it's credit to, to their dedication and their discipline. Early as a senior player, how much do you look at that competition and how much do you look at this competition to make sure you're doing yeah. the work? Do you want to know what the surrounding talent is looking at right now to see what they can see? You know, you pay attention to to the games that are going on throughout the week, you know, the Monday night game, the Thursday night game, you know, the Saturday games if, if you're playing on Sunday, if if they're relevant to you. You know, if it's an AFC team or if it's a, a division opponent. Um, but you also have to balance that and understand you still got to get your job done to, to make it matter. Um, so there is a balance there. How do you manage that? Well, you know, that's that's our job to do that. Um, you know, you're going to pay attention and understand the, the layout of the league and where you stand. But, you know, you, when it's time to lock in and meetings and you know, film study and, you know, your pregame routine, that's uh, that's part of our job. Have you met Ellis? Yeah, we met at a uh, a steakhouse in Miami when I was coming out right before the, my draft in 2020, right before COVID hit. Any interaction? Did you talk for a few minutes? I just went up and introduced myself. It was he and uh, Coach Patricia at the time, and just went up and introduced myself. So, <laughs> with your dad. No, or like no, we didn't. You know, we would talk a little ball growing up. But what I loved about my dad was that, you know, he. I don't know if it was because he was, you know, he was immersed in it all day at work, uh, but he never fully crossed that line of, of dad and coach. You know, he 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 towed it very well, and I always appreciated that. You know, he would give me his thoughts on on games on Friday nights, but. You know, he would never be like, you know, ripping me out or anything after I played poorly, which which I always appreciated. Was there any point in the league, was there like a, a fun box to check for you of did you enjoy the spirit of this year, just going against Bill Belichick? Was that one that made you really like have that experience or that ever? Not really. Um, just didn't really think that way. I don't know. I think if you – you get too too caught up in in those moments and people that have played for a long time. I think you lose your your competitive advantage. Is there extra juice in playing in Indy a little like this year, kind of like what this can be that like a real tough test to get as far as playing like this? Uh yeah. I mean, we know they're they're very well coached. They're going to have a good plan. You see it every week and on the film. You know, they're going to have a a plan for got certain guys. They're going to have a third down plan that you probably haven't seen. They're going to have a red zone plan that you probably haven't seen, so you have to make the adjustments. Yeah, we talked about, about earlier in the year about um, Belichick and Arians and the dynamic they bring. What will 
Well, it was just like anything. You you learn from from your mistakes, and you learn from reps and playing more ball and understanding you know what defenses are trying to do to you. You know, every year is different. You know, you're seeing different defenses every year, and and teams are playing different ways. Uh, so you you know the beginning of the year, you're getting a feel of you know what's working on offense, what what are defenses trying to do to you, uh, and you're just learning from that week after week. I don't know. I just didn't. I didn't really think about it. Um, figured he knew who I was and just went up and introduced myself. Nothing Nothing crazy. I just think it shows TB's, you know, commitment to playing well to the team to winning. Uh, you know, there's not a lot of guys that would that would do that, and I'm sure it was hurting. He didn't let anybody know it. Uh, that's just the kind of guy that he is. You know, he's a guy that you love to have on your team. Thanks, Thanks, sure.